to the Ashland Nature Center. They tell me it's a turkey vulture. I found it on uh, Route 41. It apparently was hit by a car or a truck. It is me, Michael. Uh -huh. Okay, it looks pretty serious. Tri-State Bird Rescue and Research was organized in 1976 following a series of major oil spills on the Delaware River. We have the highest survival rate in the world for oiled birds. We, we usually are able to return to the wild 90% of all the oiled birds that we care for. He's barely, barely alive. If we would get in in one week, um, a lot of little birds that had been badly mangled by house cats, which is one of our major causes of injury in suburban areas, our survival rate for those birds might drop down to 30%. See if they can prepare a place for him in the, in the raptor, raptor room. room. When these animals first come into us, especially the adults, they're wild animals. They have never seen a wall or a roof or a cage. And we put them into an environment that's totally foreign to them and very stressful to them. And they, they see us and they're very frightened of us as far as they're concerned. The only reason we'd be handling them is to, to kill them and eat them. <laughs> The trained volunteers that work here are the life's blood of the organization. Last year they donated 17,500 hours to the care of the birds. This little falcon came in yesterday, quite unresponsive. He'd fallen from a nest in a warehouse about 30 to 40 feet off the ground. These are baby crows, and while they're not really popular with a lot of people, they really serve a role in nature because they're great scavengers. They're also members of the Corvidae family, and they're very intelligent, very social, which is why we like to group them together. And they like to vocalize a lot. Another bite. These birds, um, are really young. They have to be put in the incubator because they can't keep themselves warm. They're just starting to get their feathers in. And we feed them a very special diet. They're fed at about every 20 minutes or 30 minutes from dawn to dusk. We take care of 2,000 or more wild birds every year. 85% or more of the birds are brought into us because they've been injured directly as a result of their attempts to coexist with man. They've been hit by cars, poisoned, shot, had cats attack them, um, hit buildings during migration. So man has played a significant role in, in the survival of wild birds. This is a bald eagle. She was caught in what we suspect was a, um, a pole trap. When she was caught and left hanging in the trap, a predator of some type began to gnaw at her. It's actually a very submissive posture for her. Since she's threatened and she knows that we're larger than her, she figures that's her best defense. You're just going to be submissive, are you? Because all the animals that come to us are wild animals, we try to keep them wild. We, we don't give them names and we don't interact with them. Our real goal is to release them back out into the wild where, where they belong.